We're back at the Home Depot Center. Things are popping off. We're going to go talk to some of the riders right here on the park course. Later on, the street course is opening up. They're going to be practicing. We'll talk to some of those guys. Here's the interviews for you. Two-time X Games gold medals. He won it the last two years. Daniel Dares. What do you think about the course this year, and uh, who are we looking out for this year? Dude, I feel like this course is crazier than last year for sure. I feel, I feel like maybe last year the ramps were taller, so it was probably easier to do the tricks and stuff. This year it's a little more line-based, I guess. So totally, like I've seen Diogo and like Chase just blasting everything here. So it's pretty crazy. Talking about X Games 14 last year in 08, can you tell me something that really stands out in your mind as like maybe a memorable moment from that contest? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think when I fell in a double whip transfer on my third drop, and I was like, okay, I really need to put this one together, and that's it. And uh, Luckily, I, I went and I pulled it, and then I stuck my run. I ended up winning last year. <laughs> All right, we're standing here with Diogo Canina, uh, second place winner from last year's X Games, and Rob Darden, third place finisher of last year's X Games. So, what are you looking forward to this year? Like, you think you guys are gonna get on that podium together again? Man, we're trying. That's why like, practice just started right now, and we were probably like, the first dudes to get on the course, try to get some lines going. Rob. Tell me something that stands out last year, you know, either Park or any of the other contests also that stands out from last year's X Games. I think just uh, having me and Diogo be alternates last year and getting in and then we ended up getting on the podium was, you know, the best thing ever. So who's looking good this year to watch out for? Uh, right now, Hawk has got it on lockdown. <laughs> um, probably just follow him around and see what happens. All right, we're standing here with third place bronze medalist from last year's X Games in the street, Sean Sexton. Sean, you haven't had a chance to ride this course yet. What do you think about just looking at it? Uh, it looks pretty intense and, and fun at the same time, you know. Um, it's a couple of things are intimidating, but uh, just excited to get out there and ride and get it out there with everybody and watch what everybody's doing and get motivated, you know. Is there anybody out here that you kind of have your eye on, like, that we should look out for this year? Um, Ty Morrow. Is there anything that stands out in your mind from last year's X Games, like maybe something that you did or something somebody else did that you just kind of stands out as like a highlight for you? Van's uh, manual to rail ride to bar spin line was probably one of the most ridiculous things. So Corey, you're out here last year riding the street. Everything looks a little bit bigger this year. What do you think of it so far now that you've ridden it? Um, some of the stuff is a little bit more scary than last year, obviously, but I don't know. that If any of us found this stuff out on the streets, we're all going to be psyched to ride it. So we're talking a little bit about last year. Of course, every year at X Games, something awesome goes down. Does anything stand out in your mind as like a highlight from last year? Garrett Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all, I, what else can you say? I mean, highlights of that kid, you know, I mean, just him riding his bike is amazing. Uh, just watching Garrett Reynolds ride in general, I mean, he's always amazing. And then when it's like kind of under the gun during a contest it's even crazier like he did 10 things in a run that I've never even seen done before you've ridden it a little bit this year in practice what do you think of it so far uh it's gnarly <laughs> so you know everything's like probably got like an eight foot drop or so all right Van Homan uh silver medalist out here last year at X Games 14 you've ridden the course a little bit tell me what you think about it um I think it's pretty big like um it's definitely definitely no joke set up so you, you know you kind of got to bring when it comes time to get stuff done, you kind of got to be serious. There's not really too much nibbling going on, I don't think, out there. All right, we're standing here with Dave Mir right at the Big Air ramp. He got second place last year. Dave, I know this ramp never changes, but what can we expect this year? You know what? Who knows? You know, I, this ramp is like a holiday. You ride it, you know, it comes around once a year, and that's when you ride it. I'd like to at least start out what I did last year, and I'm always about progression, so we'll see if I can step it up and maybe go to the 70. Last year, you tried a backflip, triple tail whip. Something always crazy goes down. What can we expect this year? <laughs> I don't know if I could give anything away, but uh, I've got some pretty pretty fun things up my sleeve for this year. What was one thing that stood out from last year? Do you have a highlight in your head that uh, kind of stands out to you? Being up on the rolling and seeing Mira do the air traffic control over the 50-footer. That was awesome. I couldn't believe that he did it. He just kind of sucked it up and went for it. What can we expect this year? Uh, I'm just here. You know, I had a pretty bad ankle injury about four weeks ago, so I didn't even think I'd be walking right now. So the fact that I'm even here on my bike, I'm, I'm happy. The rest is just icing on the cake. We're asking people if they have any highlights from last year. Is there anything that stands out from Big Air last year that kind of just sticks out in your mind as a highlight? Uh, I mean, so many good things happened on the ramp, you know. Uh, Dave's no-handed uh, three flip was just amazing, you know, just uh, so butter smooth. And, um, you know, uh, Chad with the flip double whip and then uh, same with on the quarter. Those guys both flip whipped on the quarter. Just outstanding, you know. And then, you know, last year I was pretty stoked to no-handed three to no-handed five. Once again, RideBMX.com is going to be your place for X Games 15 coverage Thursday night all the way through Saturday night. Also, if you want updates sent straight to your phone, check out Twitter.com backslash RideBMX.